Hi, my name is Karthik. I am from Informatica's Global Customer Support Team. In this video KP, we are going to demonstrate on how to run a scorecard in Blaze mode using Big Data Management 10.1.1. The agenda for this video is to create a scorecard. A scorecard can be created either from developer client or an analyst, analyst tool. So, but accessing the scorecard is only possible from the analyst tool. So in this use case, we are going to run the scorecard and the creation will also be done from the analyst. And we are going to run the scorecard in place execution mode. A scorecard can also be run in the native execution mode. Let us open the project. Demo is a project that we select and I already had a profile that is created on a, on a hive table. So the profile is, run is already successful and we do have the profile results. So these profile results will be added to a scorecard. So you can use this drop down button and we can select the option of add to scorecard. So we do have the option to create a new scorecard or add the results to the existing scorecard. So we are going to use the new scorecard option for now. So specify the scorecard name. So we need to specify the matrix and the matrix uh, should be, I mean, so we can select the column names as the matrix. So we can also add a filter to the matrix. But in our use case, we can skip the filtering path. And in your use case, you can develop a complex filter based on the use case. And in this option, we can select a matrix and adjust its settings. So we can also specify which are the valid values. So here let's take ABC1 as a valid value for column 1 and this is going to impact the results of the scorecard. So in column 2 we have ABC1 again. So let's make it as valid. And column 3 we do have two results and ABC and 1 is a frequency and we're going to make it as a value. So let's go to next. I'm going to use the default metric group. So if you want, you can define the way for each a metric. In this case, we'll ensure that equal weightage is given and we're going to the next steps. And we have the option to run the scorecard on the data integration service. So for that, we have to use native mode or we can also use Hadoop execution mode to run the scorecard. So we can specify the connection that we want to use to run the scorecard. When we use the Hadoop option, the scorecard is going to run on Blaze execution mode. Let us save and run this. can also verify the scorecard run status from the job monitor from admin console. Let us have a look. Select ad hoc jobs. So the scorecard and score demo is a scorecard that we initiated from then list and it is running successfully. So scorecard run is complete and we should be able to see the results here. So here we go. So we can see the total rows are two and as we remember we we selected one row as a valid row 
in all of them and we can see always a 50 to 50 50 score in all the columns because we only have two records in the profile results so this completes the scorecard run demo you can also refer kv510702 so it, it has all the steps that has been demonstrated in this video kv we can see the steps on how to use analyst tool to run a scorecard in place execution mode we would love to hear from you on the feedback on this support video you can write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com you can also follow us on twitter thank you